So the question on um, with friends um, feeling like because of one's uh, spiritual evolution, one is no longer resonating uh, with with uh, with friends, and how to how to detach from friends. Um, it's it's uh, to be expected. One doesn't really recognise it when you're doing a lot of spiritual work. You're actually um, to use Hawkins. I'll use Hawkins language because it makes it very simple. Your level of consciousness is increasing, i.e., you're vibrating at a higher level of consciousness, and things which actually were quite nice and enjoyable at a lower level of consciousness are no longer tolerable. You know, I mean, like. Uh, uh, let me try and use a more subtle example than you know losing your drinking buddies when you stop drinking. But um, uh, it's like um, let's say being being present and just uh, being in flow, and then someone just you got you had your old friends that want to talk about football nonstop, you know, and it's like it doesn't really resonate because it's like now it's getting more to a place of just empty presence rather than you know, uh, filling the head with lots of content. So there's no longer resonance and it's some, let, let's meet up and talk for three hours on football. You know, there's, uh, th there may be, um, you know, it just, it just doesn't resonate and actually one is evolving, the other person is just going to stay at that level probably for the rest of their life. So it becomes a, it becomes a mismatch. Uh, they can, I mean, obviously, uh, when there's a transition from one level of consciousness to another level of consciousness, then there has to be a lot of resolution because there's a lot of things, payoffs, that hold you down to the lower level of consciousness. So it, it's scary to let those payoffs go. Um, now, um, um, on specifically how do you let go? Well, there's two things. How you let go depends on the level of consciousness you're at and what's your inner attitude. So um, let's say you're slowly shifting above them and you're just moderately doing your spiritual work. Then you know I, I would just say um, uh, the way you'd, the way that would work is the way I would do that was just like um, if they say like yeah, do you want to meet up for football uh, it'd be probably something like politely no thanks and yeah you know, there's subtle ways of giving the hint you know I'm just meditating or doing a meditation workshop uh, and then I one of the things I do is just I don't respond and I, I try and unconsciously tell them psychically tell them look. I'm not that interested. I don't actually verbally say it. I hope they get that psychically. And every time they say I'm sort of busy, you know, or, or I'll try and give them clues that I'm no longer resonating. I mean, those things are no longer fun and enjoyable for me. So, uh, so to give them the hint. Uh, now, that should be easy if there's what I call no karmic contracts, heavy karmic contracts between you and the other person. You know, if there are, then they'll come up with a guilt trip like... Uh, I thought you said you were my best friend and you'd never abandon me, you know, and I've been trying to make contact with you for the last several weeks and you're just unavailable. So you, you get that, you know, I did all of this stuff for you and, and now you're not there. So that stuff can come in, so if, if, uh, if there is that stuff, I mean, for some it might be quite easy. For some, you know, the, um, people have unconscious contracts with you and then they think, okay, you're betraying them, not being a good friend, or, or, or they get angry, you know, like you, uh, you've let me down, you know, and, and they get defined. So the, the other way to do that at a certain, at a lower level of consciousness, is just to, um, to pray for them and resolve it, resolve it at the spiritual level. So you know, you, you can intuitively guess what they expect of you and what they want of you if you let them go. And you start clearing it through cancellations, through forgiveness. And usually if you do that, and then, and then you, you go away, they usually will let you go. If you haven't cleared it, uh, the, 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 the karma, or we could say the unconscious contracts between the two of you, they'll probably try and um, you know, give you a guilt trip over it. Now, what you're talk uh, talking about, like, do you even have to go through all of this? I mean, what about... At the level of just be the beingness, will the beingness handle it? Well, yes, the beingness handles it. In fact, the beingness, but the, to get to the beingness, for the beingness to handle it, you have to resolve all the, all the hooks and the attachments, otherwise you won't be in the beingness. You see, you can't have it both ways. You can't be in the beingness and let... So the beingness can only 
come the response only comes out of the infinite, out of the eternal, out of the nothing, once you've let go of all, all the limited ideas that are hooking you in. So you'd have to like still you'd have to cancel those so that you'd be in the beingness and there'd be no attachment, no nothing, no history, there'd be nothing there. Then, you know, um, usually what happens that you, you find that when you start to go into the resonance of the infinite, like these people can't even call you. It's a mystical thing. It's like the, that realm, it's like the tests that befall it, often you'll find that they won't call you because you're resonating at such a high vibration. It's only when you drop and you have fear and you're more in your head that they'll actually start, start to hit you and you've got, you've got fear around it and beliefs around it or there's unconscious things that need to be cleared. And then, you know, you, have to, you, you can use the old-fashioned praying and uh, getting uh, feedback on others. But yes, uh, uh, my experience is in the infinite, usually nothing can hit me. You know, everything's just flowing along. But I, what I found when I'm in the infinite or in the, in the flow or in the beingness is that in those states nothing comes. But let's say there's a temptation to hook out of the infinite. As soon as I've hooked out for a split second, then they call. You know, it's like they, they have to wait until you're disconnected before they'll even be able to call you. So that's the problem. So if there, sometimes if I go into a sublime state, you know, it's fine. Uh, and then suddenly something happens and I'm hooked out of the state. Uh, and, uh, and then at that point I'm hooked out, then they'll call, you know, and then they'll have a pop. So, so then there's stuff to, that's unresolved with them that needs to be let go of. But um, um, the other thing is, um, the way I usually do it with, with all relationships is to try and clear it before it happens. So, I, I mean, I think it's usually obvious. I mean, your own, your own intuition tells you what they expect of you. And you can sort of guess it quite easily. And then you can cancel it and clear it. On the premise of, like, Dr. Hugh, Dr. Hugh Len, which is like um, uh, with a Hawaiian prison full of inmates who had, like, done this and this and this, you've got their files, you just forgive, do the complete forgiveness in every aspect of what's happened between you and them. And then they just all get well and they leave. There's no, there's no, there's no sort of bonds between you and them. You've cleaned the bonds between in yourself and in them. That are good. They're going to come, so they won't be able to come for you because it's all forgiven. So uh, there is that. The other thing is, if there's any, so that's that. I mean, like the, another question from a different angle was uh, the fear of letting people go. Well, that, uh, on that level, for me, it's the thing of like, well, you transcend the fear. You, you, can, you can go to the observer, you can counsel the fear of letting go, the fear of feeling lonely, the fear of losing the payoff of friends. Uh, but my experience is um, when you let go of a lower vibration, make space for a higher vibration, something better comes along. Uh, but while you're too afraid to let go of the lower vibration, and you still want to hold on to those payoffs, uh, you need to have you need to walk into the fear of letting go for a period of time before something new. It's like a test. It's like the universe goes, well, I'm not going to give you something at the higher vibration until you were willing to let go of the lower one and stay unhooked for a period of time, which is like addiction. You know, it's like if I want to let go of donuts uh, because they're tying me to, and let's say, a donut is a metaphor for a friend. You know, uh, uh, use like a drink basically for me. If I want to let that donut or that friend go, then usually what happens because I was at this low vibration, they were at that low vibration, and we both liked being at that low vibration. Maybe we're both gossiping and angry and drinking together or whatever. Now I, w I have the idea I want to be at a higher vibration, so I have to choose that, and then there'll be all my hooks to pull me down, and they'll try and pull me down. And I have to keep saying no for a period of time to that and, and be in the fear for a period of time, keep saying no, and then you're free. You know, so there's a period of testing of letting go. And then it's like the universe will get, allow you the newer vibration. So um, on another level with letting go, look, uh, the, the way to let go from the level of the observer is to clear everything um, uh, so let, uh, this is how I do it, just using the observer tool. So it'd be like, okay, you know, I, there's no resonance with this friend of mine. 
um, and I'd rather, I just want the observer to handle the situation. I don't want to figure it out in my head. So, and then you're just in the witnesser, and then the text comes from them, yeah, let's meet up tomorrow and do our usual gossip, gossip meet up. <laughs> and uh, so you just, you just, you just don't respond and you go to the witnesser, like who needs to respond to this, you know? Uh, and there'll be something that will want to respond immediately, but just go to the witnesser until there's no desire to respond and it disappears. And uh, once it's fully gone and there's just presence, if something comes along, like a response, then you can respond from that place, you see. But don't, you don't respond from the place of uh, a lower vibration. You respond from the place of the, of the thing. And that's the way I usually re deal with life. I try not to respond to people when I'm in a low vibration. I'll, 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 I'll try and go into the witness or do some, some stuff just to get to a high vibration or step 10. And then I'll respond from a high vibration. And usually it goes well. If you respond from a low vibration, it doesn't go. Um, yeah, and the prayers for me are really like almost like a psychic message to them, like I'm letting go. You know, uh, there is a, f I feel, uh, there's an energetic, there are energetic chords which you can cut through, through prayer and cancellations and whatever. So th then they'll, they'll do that. Um, anyway, I, I, I talk about, you know, I, I guess you could call that preempting. You know, you, you clear up the spiritual baggage before you do the act. And uh, my experience, if you clear up the baggage really well, there won't be any problem. It's only if you try and cut while there are spirit, the spiritual baggage that you know, there's, some, there's some friction. But um, so that's my advice at a lower level and at the level of the observer in letting go. But I do, I do think it is part of the thing of spiritual growth, letting go of, of, of things that, which are now at a lower vibration and embracing higher vibrations um, because it's kind of obvious. I mean, they don't mingle. So if someone wants to stay at the vibration and won't go to a higher vibration, you know, they what they like is low vibration people. They don't resonate. It just doesn't resonate. Someone who likes to be in stillness and someone who likes to gossip 24 hours a day to feel connected. It just there is not there's no resonance if it's too too wide. If 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 the resonance is quite small, the gap is quite small, then you can probably take each other in small doses. Um, but uh, you know it gets harder and harder as the as the gap in vibration is um, is large.